Automatic Bar Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson 2. Stock Feed Components. One of the many features of the new Britain Automatic Bar Machine is its ability to feed the right amount of stock to the work area at precisely the right time. This feed system is made up of several different components which all work together to make the machine function properly. The purpose of this tape is to help you identify by name, locate, and be able to explain the purpose of each of the major components of the stock feed system. The stock reel shown here holds and provides support to the stock being used. Notice that the six stock tubes rotate as a single unit inside the stock reel. The stock feed pawl and stock feed return shoe are located here behind the stock feed slide. They provide the forward and backward motion to push the stock into the work area. These are the stock feed cams, whose purpose is to force the stock feed return shoe to move back and forth. See how the stock cam, stock feed slide, the stock feed pawl, and stock feed return shoe all work together to provide the horizontal motion needed to make the feed system work. The pusher consists of the feeder tube, the stock guide bushing, and the feed fingers. The pusher is located here inside the spindle carrier. We have removed this pusher from the machine to show you its parts. The stock guide bushing provides a guide for the stock to minimize vibration from the rotating stock during operation. The feed tube is connected to the feed fingers and transfers the back and forth motion needed to push the stock into the work area. The feed fingers provide the actual gripping of the stock to feed the stock forward. The stock release lever releases the pusher by moving the feed pawl away from the pusher. Another important part of the stock feeding system is the stock stop. The stock stop provides an accurate length of stock to be fed into the work area by stopping stock at a precisely measured point. Loading of the stock is simple, but there are some important things to remember. Dirt causes wear on machine parts, and dirty stock will cause unnecessary wear on the feed fingers. You must always wipe the stock off with a rag before inserting it into the stock reel. It's difficult to align the stock with the stock guide bushing, especially with heavier stock. Ask for assistance if you need it. This completes the television training tape on the stock feed system. You may watch this tape as many times as you need to fully understand the material. Remember, you must be able to name, locate, and explain the purpose of each of the major components of the stock feed system. Return to the operator booklet for step three when you have finished viewing this tape.